a great big beautiful morning and I want to welcome you to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge with the Savannah View. If you haven't been following us in the previous video, we're actually heading over to the Magic Kingdom today for early entry because we are staying at a Disney Resort. But I wanted to show you something we have out on our balcony. However, before we do that, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button ringing that bell so you can get the latest updates on our Disney vacations, Disney trips, get the information you need to plan your Disney vacation. Let's see what we have out here. We have a Savannah view room and you can see zebras out there on the Savannah. Take a look at that. There's one of them walking down farther, but looks like they're, they're getting some breakfast. I'm guessing these are wildebeest. My animal knowledge is very limited at the moment. And it's super early. I haven't had my coffee yet, but take a look at that. Really, really cool. So a continuation of our series we've had here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, we're going to go ahead and have some breakfast, and then we'll head over to the Magic Kingdom. We are heading to the bus area for Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Most of the deluxe resorts have some sort of unique transportation to the theme parks. Unfortunately, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge only has motor coach or bus transportation to the theme park. So we're heading to Magic Kingdom, which is the furthest park away. So it's going to be the longest trip, but it's still really cool, still worth it. Don't have to worry about the monorail or the or ferry boat because it takes us right to the front. But we'll show you that too. Really, really cool. So all the bus stops have different zones. We're going to the Magic Kingdom, which is probably going to be the furthest one away. Looks like 8.06 a.m. is the next bus. It is currently 7.58, so we have about eight minutes. Not too bad. So again, we're just waiting on our bus to get into the Magic Kingdom. Hopefully make it there right before opening. It's still, it'll be good. It shouldn't be that much of a wait to seven towards my dream, but we'll take a look at that and go from there. Take a ride. Come on. We're gonna ride to the magic. We're gonna ride to the castle. Put him in between you. I don't want him on the other side. All right, Wyatt. 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 Come here, Wyatt. We're gonna be ready this for the first time. I want you to be in the middle. Okay. So we've heard. So this doesn't cost anything. You get here early enough, you can ride to Cinderella's castle. Let's take a look at that. It's gonna be awesome. This is awesome. We've never done this before. This is no, we've never done this. Have you ever done this before, Christy? No. All right. Wow. Isn't this cool? Nikki Marie! Okay, my lovely friends, welcome aboard and good morning. Good morning. So, please remain seated at all times. Please keep your arms, hands, legs, and feet inside the vehicle at all times. There is no eating, drinking, or smoking in the vehicle. And make sure children are supervised at all times for me, okay? Got it. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, there's We are ready? ready? Yes, we're ready. Yay. <laughs> I'm a transplant. Okay. Where'd you transplant from? Uh, all over. I'm Air Force brat, so. Okay. Well, remember to tell your dad thank you for his service or your mom. No, my dad. Whoever. Yep.
Yeah, we're staying at the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Yeah. We're here for... Did y'all see any animals this morning? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are. We're here for uh, my wife's birthday is uh, it's on uh, tomorrow. No, Tuesday. Tuesday. So we're here for birthday and Father's Day. So it's a celebratory weekend. Yeah. I fly to Ohio on Tuesday. Ooh, fun. So I'm sure you can tell my son all about Cedar Point. Yeah, not that far. No, not that far. <laughs> it's not gonna be that kind of fun. No, no. no. I have to add, explain to him where what Cedar Point was. It's like, oh yeah, if you feel like roller coasters, you're, you're, yeah. you're, 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 you're okay. gonna like that. Everybody, look over here to your left. So that was totally unexpected. Really, really cool trip. Something that was on our bucket list for many, many years. Christy, who's the big Disney fan in our family, has never done that. So uh, it's complimentary. You just have to be here to catch it. We happen to catch it. Great early morning benefit there. Uh, but it's good available throughout the day usually, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, we, we caught it. And now it's time to get checked in to uh, early hours so we can enjoy some Seven Dwarves Mine Train. So we are headed to, not Tomorrowland, but Fantasyland. 8.44 is the time, so they've technically opened already. So we're going to get in line for Seven Doors Mine Train. But take a look at that castle. So beautiful. Weather's really nice today. Um, the rain looks like it's going to hold out, so we might actually get Tron on. So we guess we got here a little bit later than normal, and we took the little wagon. Might have to wait a longer line, but that's okay. I'd rather have taken the wagon. But uh, yeah, this line is going pretty long. Now, before park opens, technically, which is at 9 o'clock, there are no lightning lanes, so it's all standby. And these are, again, are all Disney World Resort guests, Shades of Green, Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin, and there's a number of other hotels that have access to this benefit. It's totally worth it to get into that most popular ride. And since Tron is on a virtual queue system, you don't have to wait for that in a standby. Just get to Tron boarding group and uh, wait for there. And it looks like we're all the way to almost Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Oh, 75 minute wait from here. So change in plan. The Seven Doors Mine Train line is 75 minutes long, even standby early entry because we got here at 8.45. So if you're not here right at 8.30 or earlier, actually earlier, let's get in the back, the big group, then you're going to be waiting. So we're actually headed over to Big Thunder Mountain because that's what we want to do. Our kids love it. Our little Wyatt friend um, in our party that we're traveling with wants to ride that. So we're going to take you on for a little journey on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. And we'll see you right there. We're here at the entrance of Liberty Square USA after Fantasyland. It looks like there's a bit of a rope off. So probably 9 a.m. It's 8.56 a.m. Maybe because there's not as many popular rides in this direction. And the floodgates have opened. We are headed to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad over to Frontierland to experience that. Let's go. So one thing that a lot of people might not know is that there's like a, almost like a shortcut bridge from Liberty Square USA to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and what was once Splash Mountain. This is uh, the main walkway to the left. It goes by Country Bear Jamboree, but we're gonna take this little walkway. Very scenic, pretty cool. We've got Tom Sawyer Island over there as well. We've never been over there. We'll have to give that a try sometime. Be pretty cool. So not a lot of people here right now. I think it might just be a walk-in on Big Thunder Mountain. Okay, we made it to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Q time, standby entrance is 10 minutes, but probably a little bit longer than that, but I'm sure not nearly the 75 minutes that we would have waited for Seven Doors Mine Train. All right, looks like we got front row. We have a really good view of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Let's get on this. All right, there's our train. It's here.
we survived. You, did you like that, you two? I think we survived, guys. Did you like that, you two? Made it. <laughs> All right. I liked it. We made it. We're back at Big Thunder Mountain Railroad for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're actually heading to Pirates of the Caribbean now. Gonna give that a whirl. And then I think our Tron uh, time will be ready. It actually looks like it's going a lot faster than we expected. So uh, let's go ahead and go. All right, we are here at Adventureland. Pirates of the Caribbean, only a 10 minute wait. Probably a walk on, usually with 10 minutes to walk on. Yeah, it's definitely uh, pretty much a walk on. We're already waiting in queue to get on the ride for the next stop actually. So let's enjoy Pirates of the Caribbean.
Two. All right, that was Pirates of the Caribbean. But now it looks like we're getting close to our Tron boarding group. It's about 35 minutes away. I think we're going to start heading to Tomorrowland. We might try to get on Buzz, not sure, but let's go ahead and take a look. And we are now entering Tomorrowland. We're going to ride Buzz Lightyear. Apparently, it's got a short wait. And then uh, I think it will be time to get on Tron from there. So Christy and I are challenging each other at Buzz Lightyear. We're going to get up with her, and we're just going to get on our ride.
Thank you, Buzz. Let's see, 655, 300. What am I? I am Cosmic Commando. And Christy, what are we? Planetary Pilot? Hey. All right, we just got off Buzz. I only got the Galactic Hero once, it's the most you can get, but that was actually a fluke because the ride stopped right in the Zerg spot, so I was able to just maximize the points, and that's pretty much it. So it didn't really count. I think next time we're going to try to see if we can hit Galactic Hero. But now I believe it's time to hit the Tron. Such an awesome themed area. I love the music in the background. We're gonna give this thing a try. Also, one thing a lot of people don't know is that if you don't fit on the test bike, you can still ride. If you can ride a regular roller coaster, you can ride this one. They actually have accessible seating on select of the select cars on the back. We're actually gonna show you that today. We're gonna try to go pro that. Let me know what you guys think. It's gonna be all pretty awesome. I guess you guys, these guys will really enjoy it. Enjoy it. Tron Bicycle Run is a thrilling, high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. Users be warned. The light cycle run makes sharp turns with sudden drops and stops. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all times. Restrain securely fastened. show scenes, but that is okay. We're about to ride Tron. Check out this view though, really cool. Very blue. Our cycles have arrived. Up our seats just as we want. Let's take a look how this is gonna go. Time to try and light and cycle run. It's gonna be awesome. Sarah, you ready? Oh, yeah. This is Sarah's first time on this ride, so uh, I think it's gonna be a thrill. Here we go. Kingdom, and not nearly as busy as I thought it was going to be for Happily Ever After. It starts in about 21 minutes. So we're at the second floor of the Main Street USA Railroad Station, and you hopefully get a good view of Happily Ever After. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't so already, and then smash that bell so you get updates on the latest Walt Disney World stuff, and let's enjoy the show. Each of us has a dream, a heart's desire, a whole source, 
in advance if I had to cut any of that out due to copyright reasons, but whatever case it is, hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna see if we can get on a ride. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, we're thinking Jungle Cruise, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and head that way, and we'll see you there. We made it to the Jungle Cruise. So, happily ever after ended at 9.40. It's 9.46 now, it takes about six minutes to get here from the top of the train station. Not much of a wait, but probably the only ride we're gonna ride because the park's cl closed at 10. So uh, we're gonna make this happen. We made it to Double Cruise. Let's take a look. All of those people up there on the dock. Oh yes, guys, wait, like you really mean it, okay? Because uh, I really mean it when I say <laughs> you're never gonna see them ever again. But you've never met any of them before, and well, I personally cannot stand my coworkers up there. So that one is actually a favor to you guys. Uh, you're welcome, I promise. And I really do hate some of those guys. Uh, was this anybody's first time aboard the Jungle Cruise? Any first time ever Jungle Cruise riders? Oh, well, awesome, awesome. Me too. Wow. Uh, we are in this together. Yeah, it's almost like we're in the same um, situation. Uh, well, welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Skipper Deirdre. Today I'm going to be your skipper, your guide, your dance instructor, your therapist. The sister you never had, the daughter you never wanted. And well, if you don't laugh at my jokes today, then I will also be your swimming instructor. I'm just kidding, I don't know how to swim. We're going to be on our journey down the Amazon River, and up here on our left, the first thing we're going to be passing is Inspiration Falls. You know they say it is called Inspiration Falls, and if you stand at its rushing water long enough, the more it will inspire you to go. Deep into the jungle. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling pretty inspired. So let's continue down the Congo River and see just how far we can go. Now, if anybody here has never seen the jungle book, amazing news. Because it's right over there. Uh, yeah, you're welcome. Uh, we really do change lives here at the Jungle Cruise. I know what the we're going to be passing the real fan favorite, Bones, Bates, and Bones. Oh, uh, you know, usually they do tend to order in quite the crowd, but I can't seem to see anybody. Canoe? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the best joke I'm going to tell the entire time. So I guess it's going to be a really fun six weeks left together. On our left, we're going to be passing one of our most lovable creatures, the Python. You know, they can't get quite the crush on you. Uh, definitely a constricting relationship. You don't want to get wrapped up into it. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, okay, so uh, on the other way, we're actually going to be passing by my camp, uh, which, as you can see, as we take it over my girls for the first time this week. Yeah, this is really great. So I'm going to look at what they did to my jeep. They painted it blue. Uh, I don't like to get a sesame head on out of here. And continue down the Nile River. You know what is the longest river in the world? It goes on for Niles. And um, Niles and Niles. So if you don't believe me, then you are in disbelief. On the other left, we are going to be passing by an African elephant. Now, did you know that elephants actually have the greatest memory of all the animals in the jungle? Oh, I wish I had a memory like that. And on the other way, we're going to be passing by... 
elephants actually have the greatest memory of all the animals in the jungle? I know. <laughs>
Um, well, give or take. Oh, well, it looks like we found ourselves a secret Indian elephant bathing pool. Feel free to take any photos or videos that you like. They all have their chunks off. Uh, you know, a lot of people think that it's water coming out of their chunks, uh, but I am here to tell you, it's not. Uh, and before I forget, I do have one more fun fact for you guys. Uh, now, did you guys know that elephants actually have the greatest memory of all the animals in the jungle? I know. <laughs> day and we'll see you on the next video and I'm going to Epcot tomorrow so catch that video hopefully right Guardian of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and even do the extended evening hours if you want to make sure you follow that please like this video if you liked it subscribe to the channel and smash that bell that way you get the latest updates and reminders when we post those videos thank you so much for tuning in we'll see you guys real soon